Manchester United continue their preparations for the crucial match against Arsenal that will decide the top of the Premier League. Manchester United manager Eric Ten Hag, who was observed at Old Trafford's private training ground, said he has developed special tactics for this important match. Ten Hag is preparing his team for the Arsenal match with a special strategy. The high tempo and pressing game, which Manchester United usually prefer, seems to take on a more controlled structure in this match. The Dutch coach is planning to make important changes in the midfield formation in order to stop Arsenal's fast attacks. In order to neutralize Arsenal's central midfielders, Eric Ten Hag may field highly physical players like Kobi Menu and Scott McTominay. Their main task will be to neutralize Arsenal's creative midfield mastermind Odegaard and block the attacking lines. He also aims to use creative players like Bruno Fernandes in freer roles to destabilize the opposition defense. Manchester United's defensive line will have to show high concentration against fast players like Arsenal forwards Kai Havertz and Bukayo Saka. On the offensive line, Ten Hag wants to exploit the speed of Hodgelund and Alejandro. Anthony, who hasn't played much all season, will also be looking for his most effective performance of the season against Arsenal. Ten Hag aims to confuse the Arsenal defence by encouraging constant position changes and a dynamic attacking structure. Manchester United's playmaking strategy is also part of Ten Hag's specific plans. The team aims to have more possession and deprive Arsenal's playmakers of passing options. Eric Ten Hag's tactics for the game against Arsenal increase Manchester United's chances of getting the upper hand against this formidable opponent. Time will tell whether Ten Hag and his team will be able to implement these strategies on the pitch as the match day approaches. Manchester United target Denzel Dumfries available for over 20 million euro. Manchester United have the chance to sign Inter Milan defender Denzel Dumfries for just over 20 million this summer, according to Gazeta dello Sport. The Netherlands international has been linked with the Red Devils for a number of years and he was initially on their radar during his time with PSV Eindhoven. Gazeta dello Sport now report that Dumfries' chances of staying at Inter are complex, considering they have failed to agree terms over a renewal. With his current contract expiring in June next year, the hierarchy have made the decision to sell him. He could be available for a little over 20 million. Inter look with great interest at what happens at United, who have been long-term admirers of the Dutch fullback. The Red Devils currently have Diogo Dalo and Aaron Wan-Bissaka as their right-back options, but the latter is likely to head for the exit door this summer. United exercised an extension clause on Wan-Bissaka's contract earlier this season but they have yet to open talks over a new deal beyond June 2025. Juan Bissaka has had a difficult campaign shrouded by injuries. His form has not been impressive either. The club could decide to cash in on him during the next transfer window. The sum recouped could be utilized for the purchase of Dumfries from Inter. The Dutchman would be an upgrade on Juan Bissaka in the final third. He started off his career at right back before becoming a right wing back at Inter. Dumfries' attacking instincts would suit manager Eric Ten Hag's playing style. He has nine goal contributions for the Nerazzurri in the current season. The 28-year-old has shown in the past that he can comfortably operate from right back. He should not have much trouble in adapting to a defensive role again. Lisandro Martinez is desperate to play against Arsenal, but Eric Ten Hag has made right choice. Manchester United centre-back Lisandro Martinez returned to full training earlier this week but he won't be involved in Sunday's Premier League clash against Arsenal. Manager Eric Ten Hag revealed in yesterday's press conference that the Argentine is so desperate to face the Gunners, but he is not ready yet to return to first-team action. He said, Yesterday Licha came to me and he wanted to play on Sunday against Arsenal, but he is not ready yet. He needs a little bit more time to go through the process, but he is so desperate. The Dutchman added that he can't gamble with a player's fitness and must take responsibility for it. Ten Hag has made the right decision. Martinez has had an injury-plagued campaign where he has played only 761 minutes in 11 appearances. The 39 million rated star has missed a staggering 36 games with three separate injuries. The last of those came in late March. He returned from a knee issue only to suffer a calf strain after one outing. United have had a fierce rivalry with Arsenal over the years and they will be determined to return to winning ways on Sunday while ending their slim prospects of lifting the title. Martinez is keen to make his mark at Old Trafford, but the Red Devils can't afford to rush him back and risk another injury, which could put him out of the FA Cup final against Manchester City. The Red Devils are currently 8th in the table and may need to win their remaining three league games against Arsenal, 
Newcastle United and Brighton and Hove Albion to qualify for Europe. It is not assured given their current form and the FA Cup final could be United's best chance. A victory would assure silverware and a spot in the Europa League group stage. Martinez could be key to their prospects of upsetting City at Wembley Stadium. United could be handed a further boost with Harry Maguire anticipated to recover from a muscle injury before the final. Manchester United's Casemiro dropped from Brazil's squad for the Copa America. Manchester United midfielder Casemiro has been left out of the Brazil squad for the Copa America tournament this summer. The Selecao announced the list of players who will be heading to the United States in June to participate, and the ex-Real Madrid star is one of the big names omitted. Brazil finished as runners-up in the previous edition of the Copa America in 2021, losing to Lionel Messi's Argentina at the Maracana Stadium. Dorival Jr.'s side will be keen to regain their crown, but they will do so with a new-look squad. Casemiro is the biggest omission from the 23 players list after a disappointing season with United. The 32-year-old has been part of Brazil's squad in the last two World Cups and four Copa America tournaments, winning 75 national caps. However, it is doubtful whether he will get the opportunity to add to that tally. Casemiro has been criticized in recent weeks due to his disappointing displays for United. Manager Eric Ten Hag has been playing him as a centre-back, but the Brazilian has failed to excel in that role. He lost possession 17 times and was dribbled past on seven occasions in Monday's loss at Crystal Palace. Manchester United have asked about release clause of Real Sociedad goalkeeper Alex Ramiro. Manchester United have asked about the release clause of Real Sociedad goalkeeper Alex Ramiro ahead of a possible summer move, according to Mundo Deportivo. The Red Devils currently have Andre Onana as the undisputed starter in goal following his arrival from Inter Milan at the start of the season. Alte Bayindir was signed as his deputy from Fenerbahce, but he has made just one appearance for the club in the Carabao Cup this campaign. It is quite clear that manager Eric Ten Hag prefers to trust Onana between the sticks, but Mundo Deportivo claim that United could replace him with the Real Sociedad goalie. The new management under Sir Jim Ratcliffe have probed the signing of Ramiro and have recently inquired about his release clause with his agents. Having received the information, the players' representatives have also conveyed United's interest to the Spanish outfit. Sociedad are currently happy to keep the 29-year-old with his contract expiring in June 2027. Any interested club has to trigger the termination clause. The Red Devils made the surprise decision to release David De Gea after his contract expired last summer. Onana was signed as his successor for 50 minitors, but the Cameroon international has yet to find consistency. The 28-year-old made a number of high-profile errors in the Champions League group stage, which contributed to the club being ousted out of Europe. His handling and shot-stopping has improved since January 2024, but he has been guilty of the odd mistakes such as the penalty conceded against Burnley. Despite this, we don't see the club making a huge outlay on another goalkeeper this summer. Onana should be United's long-term goalkeeper with the investment made. It does not make sense to pursue another signing, who may need time to adapt to. The best solution would be to continue with the former Ajax man. Onana should fare better next term if he has a settled back four who can stay fit for the whole campaign.